It's 4.30, which is later than I used to get up. It's still not a pretty hour. And now the morning begins. Got my eye gels on. Do I look pretty? You're welcome. It's time to make some coffee. Oh yeah. So I've gone back to my natural wave. I wet it every morning and then I get going on my makeup because of this. It has to be ready for TV in an hour. I use a primer for my eyes. Spread that on. This is the basement studio. Do a couple of plugins because there's a lot of equipment that has to run. It's been pretty, pretty helpful to have me do all this stuff. This is how I broadcast this little box. Once that green light goes on, I gotta watch my mouth. Check that out. It's actually not gonna be a green screen. You'll see it as something else. Looking a little more human. My hair is getting there, dry wise. I get ready in the studio here. This is where I will be doing the promos. The state of the race for the White House after those dueling town halls, it's all coming up right here on GMA. So I do that for about five stations live and then a couple after the show. And this is what the studio looks like when I'm about to do weather. Here we go. Also, barefoot. Chief Meteorologist Ginger Z, I want to bring you into where we have red flag warnings and unfortunately still have them in Colorado. I am done with GMA, but so far from done for the day. So now I do shoots throughout the day, interviews, and then usually world news tonight, but this is the start. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for coming along with me. Oh my God, that was so cool. And the idea that you're barefoot is so fun. I have I not worn that. heels. And it has been the most beautiful part of this time, of this break. My I, feet are so right? happy. Oh my yeah. God. I live in Sorrells in sneakers and I have never had better arch in my life. Yes. <laughs> For our feet. I can't no, believe, been... I can't believe that your husband did not bomb you, photobomb you on that, but he was probably still asleep. <laughs> He was, or he was gone already. He leaves, actually. He goes to the city pretty early, so I was able to do it. But he pops into the other stuff. I do these climate segments now every week, and that's the part that he's, like, standing by the door. Can I help you? Can I do this? I'm like, whoa, okay. But actually, it has been really nice to have the studio in my basement because once I had that, I realized I have something here that I've never had an opportunity, you know, this thing that allows us to do all of the stuff that we may not have been able to in, in the past. So it's really allowed me to dive into the climate change and environment stories, which has been pretty cool. And you're doing stuff that means a lot to you because you now have the time and you're traveling less, you can focus more mm -hmm. on communicating things that are so important to you. That's, a, that's, 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 that's something, huh? Yeah, and I'm doing what you do. I'm I'm trying to to cook as much as I can, like everybody did. But like, it really yeah. has taken it to the next level, which has been a really cool way to communicate and work with the kids because that's something. I, and this is all honesty here. You know, I would have defended till the day I die that traveling was okay to be a mom that traveled as much as I did. I cannot tell you how different the relationship I have right now with my children. How much better and easier it has been and, and more connected. And so that part, I, you know, I'd love to say, you know, and I, and I feel terrible saying that because it's come at the cost of so many bad things, but there has been some really great parts of finding these connections and the values. It's changed a lot of what I've, of how I thought.